The judge in Prince Harry and other claimants court case versus the mirror is asking a very, very important question. Why has Piers Morgan not given any evidence? <laughs> Why has Piers Morgan not given any evidence at all in this court case? Because he has so, so much to say outside court. However, Piers Morgan clearly does not want to set foot in court one bit. My family, much has happened and continues to happen even right now. Piers Morgan's name keeps on popping up a lot in court. First, we heard what Mr. David Seymour, who worked at the Mirror, what he said about Piers Morgan. The Piers Morgan was a very, very boastful person. He would explain to others exactly how to hack a phone. Piers Morgan long maintains he has never ever told anyone to hack a phone, that he does not know how to even hack a phone. Clearly, he is lying and he is a liar. Pinocchio Piers Morgan. My family, I want you to see this clip, which I believe I've been showing you in the past. The My Family that shows Piers Morgan boasting. Boasting about journalists engaging in unlawful gathering of information. Phone hacking. My family, please kindly look at this. And Mr. David Seymour said the right thing about Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is a very, very boastful person. He is very, very boastful. My family, please kindly look at this. When it first came out of my mobile phones, journalists found out that the celebrity hadn't changed their PIN code. Yeah, they you right. can access their voice You mail. can access their voice mail just by tapping a number. Now, are you really telling me that journalists aren't going to do that? Yeah. If they know they can ring up Charlotte Church's mobile phone, listen to all her messages. Hey, right? Now, all you have to do, and I know it's hard, because celebrities don't like doing anything for themselves, <laughs> is actually change your security. Yeah, I've number. changed my security number. And now you don't have to. When they first came out of mobile phones, Journalists found out that the celebrity hadn't changed their PIN code. Yeah, they right. can access their voice mail. You can access their voice mail just by tapping a number. Now, are you really telling me that journalists aren't going to do that? Yeah. If they know they can ring up Charlotte Church's mobile phone, listen to all her messages. Right now, all you have to do, and I know it's hard because celebrities don't like doing anything for themselves, <laughs> is actually change your security. Yeah, I've number. changed my security number. And now you don't have my family, it. journalists found out yeah. that if a celebrity does not change their PIN number. You can access their voicemails. And you're telling me that when you find out that you can be able to access a voicemail of a celebrity because he or she has not changed his mobile PIN number. You're telling me the journalists would not do that. My family, basically, that's what Piers Morgan is saying. That is what Piers Morgan is boasting about. And my family, that's exactly what they were doing at the mirror, my family. Exactly what they were doing at the mirror. And now, the judge in the case, wrote by Prince Harry and other claimants, notes that some journalists are happy to comment on the sidelines, however, are clearly unwilling to come to court. And the judge presiding over Prince Harry's case and other claimants has questioned why journalists, including Piers Morgan, have not appeared to give evidence, noting that some have been so happy to commentate on the case from the sidelines in recent weeks. And during hearings on Tuesday, Mr. Justice Fancourt listed the names of more than two dozen people he felt could have been brought 
before him. In no particular order. In the case against MGN, Mirror Group Newspapers, the publisher of the Daily and Sunday Mirror and Sunday People. And my family, here is what the judge said, and I quote, There's a question in my mind whether any of the individuals on my list could and should have given evidence. And they included the former Daily Mirror editor, Pierce Morgan and Neil Wallace, the former People editor. Referring to that pair in particular, he said they relatively recently had a lot to say about this matter outside of court. He also said questions had been raised about why three or four associates of Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, had not given evidence in the case against MGN. Piers Morgan has denied involvement in phone hacking. One of the issues at hand in the case being had in court after a three-week trial in 2015, Wallace was found not guilty of phone hacking charges relating to his time at the News of the World, which was not published by the respondent in the present case. Also on Tuesday, the court heard that the Coro Nation Street actor, Michael Lavelle, burned quite a few bridges and has been in some really dark places over some or the press coverage of his personal life. My family, one thing that we keep on learning, my family, one thing that we keep on learning, my family, time and time again, is that phone hacking has caused so much pain to people. You know, it tells you of the state of the UK media landscape, of the pain they cause to people. Media should not cause pain to people. It should be, you know, a bridge whereby it tells the public, informs them of policies in the government that are not beneficial to the public. Media should expose corruption. Media should hold those people in power to account. Instead, in the UK, they hold people to ransom and not to account. That's what they normally do, my family, and it is wrong. It is very, very much wrong, my family, what happens in the UK. And my family, on Tuesday, the court heard that the actor who plays Kevin Webster in the long in the long running soap is suing MGN for damages over alleged unlawful gathering of information between 1991 and 2011. He has claimed journalists and the publisher's titles were linked to phone hacking, so-called blagging, or gaining information by deception and the use of private investigators for unlawful activities. And Tuesday was the final day of evidence in the case as Lavelle, who is bringing the legal action under his real name, Michael Turner, finished his time in the witness box. In our written evidence placed before the court, Lavelle said he became extremely paranoid about stories about him and that he blamed people around him. And he said, and I quote, I feel like I wasted quite a lot of years alienating quite a lot of decent people in my life. I've burnt quite a few bridges. The trial is due to conclude at the end of the month. 
the ruling expected at a later date. My family, so much harm has been caused because of phone hacking. My family, and people like Piers Morgan, based on what is coming out in court, is that they knew about phone hacking. As a matter of fact, they told others exactly how they can hack phones. And sadly, that's exactly what they did hack phones, my family. And my family, right now, you've seen the smear campaign against Meghan Markle escalating so, so much. It's because UK media are trying to protect their own. Piers Morgan, my family, who clearly, based on what is coming out in court, does not have clean hands one bit. Piers Morgan does not have clean hands one bit. He is someone who has caused so, so much pain to others. And my family, someone like him, I hope he ends up in prison for the pain he has caused to others, for the pain he caused to Meghan, to Harry. My family, I hope Piers Morgan answers for the pain that he has caused. And my family, I want to brief you on more details of what came out in court on this criminal offense of phone hacking. Now my family, Mr. David Seymour, in his statement, refers to an incident involving former Mira Eta, Piers Morgan, which he says he also addressed in evidence to the Levinson Inquiry. And it's about an article published in Daily Mail on 20th October 2006, after Mr. Morgan had left the mirror, about Sir Paul McCartney and Heather Mills, entitled, and I quote, I am sorry, Marker, for introducing you to this monster. The couple separated in May 2006. Mr. Morgan wrote in the article, and I quote, Stories soon emerged that the marriage was in trouble. At one stage, I was played a tape of a message Paul had left for Heather on her mobile phone. It was heartbreaking. My family, you've heard that yourself. Piers Morgan was played a tape of a message that Paul McCartney had left for Heather on her mobile phone. My family, how can you access someone's voicemails without their authorization, my family, legally? How? How can you access someone's voicemails without their authorization legally? How? Clearly, what they were doing is engaging in a lawful gathering of information. That is exactly what they were doing. And Piers Morgan was deeply, deeply involved. My family, Mr. Morgan wrote in an article, the couple had clearly had a tiff. Heather had fled to India and Paul was pleading with her to come back. He sounded lonely, miserable, and desperate, and even sang, we can work it out into the answer phone. In his statement, Mr. David Seymour says he was walking through the Mirror newsroom one day. He thinks in March 2001, the year after Sir Paul went public with his re relationship and that Mr. Morgan was standing in the middle with a group of reporters around him. And the then Mira editor was holding a tape machine, desktop, and was very 
jolly. He said to all of us, to us all, listen to this. Then switched on the machine and we could clearly hear Paul McCartney's voice singing the Beatles song, And I Love Her. He, Piers Morgan, replayed it a couple of times, laughing each time mockingly. That is the person who says, I never ever engaged in phone hacking one bit. That is the person who says, I don't even know how to hack a phone. At the same time, my family, you've seen the clip of him boasting practically of exactly, you know, that journalists had found out that if you wanted to hear a celebrity's voicemail, if that celebrity did not change his or her pin, then you can gain access to their voicemails. My family, that is illegal. And Piers Morgan right now should be in prison just because of even this, my family. He should be in prison where he belongs and the key thrown away. My family, Piers Morgan should be in prison and the key thrown away. That's where he should be. And my family to intrude on someone's private you know, phone calls voicemails that person has left without the approval that is not acceptable it's illegal it's immoral it's wrong and my family whether or not you are a public figure or not my family no one should ever do that to you no one should ever go and hack your phone no one should intercept your voicemails and then after intercepting your voicemails that person proceeds to write articles about what he had my family is despicable 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 you know you begin thinking that somehow someone leaked what you said that's what you believe if you're the victim of phone hacking you believe a friend leaked it to the media then you have trust being destroyed. You say, hey, look, I can't trust this person. I can't trust this friend that I had. I can't trust him. I believe he is leaking stories about me to the media. And then you have relationships destroyed because of phone hacking, because you can't trust anyone around you. You believe they are leaking stories about you to the media. But in reality, it's the tabloid media that are doing something illegal. They're hacking your phone. They're illegally intercepting your voicemails. That is what they're doing. And then when they write the articles, a friend of Paul McCartney said this. A source close to Harry and Meghan said this. In reality, they hacked your phone. My family, that's what happened. My family, no one should ever experience what Harry, what Paul McCartney, what Heather Mills, what they went through at the hands of Piers Morgan. My family, no one. Even if you're a public figure, your phone calls are private. No one should ever intercept your voicemails no one should hack your mobile phone. My family. And then, Piers Morgan played people for people who are there. That, you know, voicemail from Paul McCartney singing the Beatles song to Heather Mills, my family his ex-girlfriend, you know, at that time, trying to get, you know, her back. And Piers Morgan replayed it to people working there, to his fellow reporters. 
of that recording. And then he was laughing each time, mockingly. And my family, Mr. David Seymour then says, in his statement, that Mr. Morgan had borrowed the tape from the ETA people at the time. And that I am pretty sure from my recollection that the song was And I Love Her and that Mr. Morgan gets this wrong in his article. My family, that is what Mr. David Seymour said. Then they twist a story to say that, hey, look, this was in the song, this was. Do you see how they basically operate, my family? They are very, very shady to try and mask the information that they got illegally. And say, hey, look, I'm reading this article. They are saying, this is the song that I sang, but it wasn't this one. So they got something wrong, but entirely they weren't wrong about me sending a voicemail singing to my you know, to my girlfriend, Heather Mills, to get her back. Like what, you know, Paul McCartney was trying to do, get his girlfriend back, you know, at the time. And my family, what Piers Morgan did was very, very much wrong. So thank you, David Seymour, for telling the entire world exactly what Piers Morgan did. And also my family, in David Seymour's witness statement, he says he was approached by a colleague when he was at his desk in 2002. And he said, and I quote, my colleague started by saying that you'll never guess what Piers just said. The colleague told Mr. Seymour that former Mirror editor Piers Morgan had mocked the then Chief Executive of BT saying something like you need to tell your customers to change the PIN numbers on their mobile phones from factory settings because otherwise you can just get into their voicemail messages. Piers Morgan was a very, very boastful person. That's clearly what you know you are learning about Piers Morgan. He boasts about invading other people's privacy. My family, Piers Morgan loves to boast about invading other people's privacy. And my family, I hope that at the end of this case, Piers Morgan ends up in prison where he belongs because that is where Piers Morgan truly, truly belongs. And my family, Mr. David Seymour, then says, and I quote, my colleague then explained to me how it was done. In fact, they had to explain three or four times since I am not technically literate. And I still was not sure how phone hacking was done by the end of our conversation. My colleague also told me that everyone else the table had what Piers Morgan had said. Piers Morgan was a very, very boastful person. He invades your privacy, then mocks you after invading your privacy. He's done that to Singapore McCartney. Every day he does that to Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And so does basically all UK tabloids. That's what they do, my family. They mock Prince Harry and Meghan's right to privacy. Time and time again. You know, this part of what happened, my family, just shows who Piers Morgan truly is. And how my family, you know, if people don't call Piers Morgan, he'll keep on doing this time and time again. Yesterday, it was Paul McCartney. Whereby Piers Morgan would play out a song Paul McCartney was, you know, singing to his then 
you know, girlfriend, Heather Mills, asking her to come back after they had a fight. Piers Morgan would replay him, you know, that him singing after clearly gaining access to their voicemails and he would laugh each time mockingly. Today it's, yesterday it was Paul McCartney. Today it's Harry and Meghan who are being targeted. Tomorrow it's someone else. Something needs to happen. These people who engage in phone hacking, who engage in voicemail interception, and lawful gathering of information, people, the public itself, must call for accountability. They must be put in prison. All those who have engaged in illegal behavior. No one should ever be above the law. No one. Piers Morgan should not be above the law. And based on what is coming out in court, my family, clearly, he saw himself as someone who is above the law by engaging in unlawful activity. And to this day, my family, he walks free. My family, that person belongs in prison. And I'm hoping, once again, this case will land Piers Morgan in prison. My family, I'm hoping this case will land Piers Morgan in prison. You know, what more does anyone else need to understand and realize that Piers Morgan belongs in prison? What more than does, you know, anyone need based on what is coming out in witness statements? What more does anyone need to realize that Piers Morgan is basically a criminal? based on witness statement my family coming out in court and no you know no wonder he has been so attacking of prince harry and meghan because he knows what he has done and he was always hoping that somehow if he attacks harry and meghan so much that harry will drop his cases that harry and meghan will be forced to do interviews with him to speak to him that's what Piers morgan was hoping for but luckily that did not happen. Prince Harry waited for the right time. And my family, he mentioned Piers Morgan's name in court. He, Harry, told the court about the intimidation, bullying, attacks from Piers Morgan that he and Meghan have received. And my family, I hope that there'll be justice. I hope there'll be justice. That's what I really, really hope. Piers Morgan has been getting away with so, so much for a long, long time. It's high time he answers for his crimes and ends up in prison where he belongs. My family, allow me to read some comments on this issue. You know, someone said that Piers Morgan needs to be locked up. Indeed, my family, I really, really hope. Piers Morgan needs to be arrested. Someone said that my family and someone called james said that so in other words Piers morgan did it and he encouraged others to do the same it does not make it right or moral to infringe people's privacy just because phone technology was not secure then journalists have their own strange warped view of what is right you know especially you know, so-called journalists working for the UK, in the UK, for British tabloids. They, in my opinion, my family, are the biggest, biggest problem. They, in my opinion, are the biggest, biggest problem. And there needs to be accountability, my family. There needs to be accountability. My family, someone said that, you know, Piers Morgan basically admits he knows about phone hacking. But yet, he goes on TV and denies he knows anything about phone hacking. Clearly, he's a liar. Indeed, Piers Morgan is a liar. That is what he's always, always been, a liar. A liar who belongs in prison. <laughs> Don't forget that, my family. And I hope that that is where Piers Morgan will be going, my family. 
someone said that, and I quote, change your pin code and now you don't have to worry about us, you know, criming on your mobile, doing crimes against you by illegally accessing your mobile. You know, my family, basically, that's basically it. You know, irregardless of whether or not someone changes his mobile PIN number or not, they don't deserve to get their phone hacked. Irregardless of whether someone changes his mobile PIN or not, they don't deserve to get their phone hacked. It's just as simple, you know, as that, my family. And my family, it's also wrong how so-called journalists have engaged in criminal activity. And when anyone ever dares to challenge them or take them to court, they experience so much abuse at the hands of the UK press that some of them back down. Some of them, you know, lose their life in the family. Like what happened to Diana or Colin Flack. My family, it's so wrong. It's so, so wrong. And something must be done to regulate the UK tabloid media landscape in the UK. Something needs to happen. My family, someone said, so Scobie, or Miss Scobie, was not lying when he testified that he was told how to do it. Indeed, my family, or Miss Scobie, was not lying. And even more and more witness statements confirm or Miss Kobe told the truth. That he was being told exactly how to hack phones. But he never ever did it. He never ever did it, my family. Because he saw and knew it was wrong. But others who call themselves journalists did it, my family. And my family also, based on the witness statement coming out in court, clearly, they knew about phone hacking. They must have known about phone hacking. Piers Morgan knew about phone hacking and clearly he knew what was happening. My family. And clearly also, he told others exactly how they can hack a phone. It's exactly what happened, my family. My family, I hope that in the end of all this, Piers Morgan ends up in prison where he belongs. My family, now with that and so much more, Stay tuned on this video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins. Love wins. My family. And yesterday, as you've heard, the target was Paul McCartney and his third girlfriend and his then girlfriend, Heather Mills. Today, it's Harry, Megan. The other day, it was Diana. Tomorrow, it could be your son or daughter. And that's why the public in the UK must demand and call for change with the UK media landscape to be properly regulated and those already who have engaged in unlawful activity must end up in prison where they belong and with that and so much more stay tuned on this video my family God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana and Doria, Raglan and all of you members of the squad at home hate never wins, love wins and with that and so much more stay tuned on this video my family Harry is right Everyone who files a case on phone hacking against the mirror and other tablets clearly are right about the enormous unlawful activity that clearly has been happening in the UK tablet media landscape. And there must be change. There needs to be change, my family. And the public is the one to call for this change. And I'm hoping that that's what they'll do. Stay tuned on this video, my family. Love you always and forever. God bless you all. And God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria, Raglan. And stay tuned on our next video, my family. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. 
Thank you so much for joining this community. This amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.